Space-time bridging involves, it's essentially a meditation, but it's really a perceptual exercise. I think that's where we're going with this, is it starts by closing your eyes and focusing on that location for which there's no sensation, there's only thought, and then opening your eyes and focusing on a location maybe about the distance of your hand, and you focus also on your breathing, so you sort of imagine a, a kind of a tether between that, you can split your attention to these two locations. You're thinking about your body and you're thinking about a location outside of you. And then you, while continuing to think about your body, so-called interoception, focus on your breathing, you focus further out and then further out and then further out. And then ultimately, you know that little cartoon or meme where they're like, we're just a little blue dot floating in a big universe and like it's supposed to make all your problems go away? Like, it kind of works because what you've done is you've expanded your perception and you go, oh yeah, like the stuff that's happening in here is really important when I'm focused on what's happening in here. But when I'm focused on what's going on and the, the kind of the, the vastness of all this and we're just a little, you know, pale blue dot and all that, it changes your perception. Not just your visual perception, obviously. Changing your visual perception changes your cognitive perception, which changes your emotional experience. So the space-time bridging is a, per, is a perceptual exercise where you step from focusing internally to focusing externally at a short distance, then a further distance, further distance, further distance, and then trying to imagine yourself in this larger landscape. It sounds very mystical, but it's actually very neurobiological, and it captures something really amazing. Why is the T in there, the time, space-time bridging? Because this is space, but time is in there because when you focus in close, your slicing of time is finer. You notice the subtle fluctuations in your breathing and things that are happening up close. Whereas when you focus further out, your perception of time actually changes, which is why in panoramic vision we are calm 